Thank you for taking your time today to learn just a little bit more about Smart Connect by E1 Solutions. Today we're specifically looking at integrations with Microsoft Dynamics GP and how they compare to Integration Manager or other legacy integration products out there. This will be a quick video, so um, stay with me and we'll um, run through Smart Connect. We'll look at an overview as well as data sources and destinations, resources that are out there, and then we'll jump into a demo and um, you can certainly send your questions to us after you've seen the video. Smart Connect makes the integration, migration, and the process of generating new data very easy. Specifically, it makes that process easy for those of you out there that base your businesses around GP, CRM, and Salesforce.com, and even beyond that. Now let's take a look at some of the data sources and the destination options that are out there. If you look at the top box of this image, you'll see that we have a wide variety of data source options. You can um, grab data with an ODBC or an OLADB connection. You could connect with a third-party web service or an access database or a SQL server. You can even grab data from CRM or GP or Salesforce.com. You could use an Excel file or a text file or drop one of those files into a folder if you wanted to. The sky's the limit in terms of data sources. If you move down toward the next box and you see our trigger section, this talks about when you want those integrations to happen. Unlike Integration Manager with Smart Connect, you can actually schedule your integrations out. So you don't have to have someone dedicated to moving data from point A to point B. You can just schedule that integration to happen. If you want to, you can also do real-time integrations, change tracks, manual integrations, external calls, connecting with a, a web service or an API as well. Now moving down toward the next box to our transformation section, this is talking about really making this integration work for your specific business need. So we've added in a number of areas where you can do things like some .NET scripting. You could do a calculated field or a SQL lookup. Maybe you want to chain some of your maps or your integrations together. You can do so. You can use a translation table, do some pre-run validations. The sky's the limit. Now destination options. Today we're primarily talking about sending this data right to Dynamics GP. But if you wanted to, you could write to CRM as well. You could write to Extender or Web Services or Salesforce.com. You could export out to files or write to a SQL server as well. Now moving toward the next section, keep in mind that we have a number of resources that at E1 we've already developed for you, including Excel data entry templates for your users to do their data entry right in Excel and pass that into GP without taking an expensive user license. We also have GP mapping templates as well as CRM mapping templates, and we do have a services team available, though they are a billable team. So check with your um, GP reseller or your Dynamics reseller and see what they have to offer as well. Now, we're going to go ahead and dive into a demo, and what we're going to do is we're going to start on a web form. Now, that web form is located at reimagine.e1solutions.com, and what you'll see me do is fill out the form, and then what I'm going to do is select either general or VIP for that level. So let's jump into that form here, and let me just pull that up, and I'm going to enter my name in the form. And I'll select VIP as my event level. Now I'll hit submit here. And when I do so, we're just using our Smart Connect web services to pass this data right to GP. And what we're going to create on the GP side of things is we're going to create an invoice. We will also create a customer card. We'll be writing to an extender field. And what we'll also do is we'll write to CRM. So on the CRM side of things, you'll see how that information that we just captured on one simple web form is added to a marketing list. And with that information, we've created accounts and contacts. So let's go check that out. If we move to the top to my demo image, let's open up Microsoft Dynamics GP. Now I'm going to look at my latest orders in SmartView, which is another product of E1s, of ours, that essentially replaces SmartList and it makes your users' lives in SmartList much, much easier. So let's pull up a list on the left-hand side and let's look at today's orders. I've just pulled up that list and you can see my name is in the system and I actually did this just a little bit ago, so I actually registered twice. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and double click here and let's pull up that invoice 
and you can see that my invoice has just been created based on that information that I captured in the web form where I created a hundred dollar invoice for my new customer and that new customer is Abby Cooper if I look at the customer card you can see that Abby Cooper has been created but there's not any address information because we didn't collect that on the web form now if we move to our additionals option and we drop into SOP Extras, this is an extender window that we've tied to this SOP window where we wanted to capture that VIP information. So here you can see I did mark on that web form that I wanted to be a VIP. Now I also mentioned to you that we would be looking at that information in a marketing list in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So I'll pull that up here and you can take a look at this marketing list. You should see two members um, within the list, both being Abby Cooper, and you'll see that we'll change one of those names in just a moment. So let's pull up that first record. And here you can see we have Abby Cooper created as a contact and also as an account. So if we look at this account here, we can see the account number is 5203. And that's the account number that we have tied to GP. Now let's look at this information in another way. Let's look at this in Excel. So I've just pulled up my Excel refreshable report. You can see I have two customers here and I'm actually just gonna change the name of this one. Let's change this one to John Doe. So you can see the changes. And let's change the unit price as well. We'll move this invoice to 1000. And these are both VIP, so we'll just leave that as um, VIP we'll move up to the top to our E1 Solutions tab. Now when I do that, I'm going to hit Run Map, and this information is going to be passed back to GP, and we're going to update the unposted invoices. Now we get this message saying, hey, are you, um, you actually can't do that, we have this error, so we will go ahead and close out this invoice so we can make sure to write back. So we'll go ahead and run that map, and here you can see that we have run the map successfully. And if we jump back into GP and we look at SmartView again, we'll refresh this list. And here you can see now we have Abby Cooper and John Doe, and we have that new document amount if we take a look at this document. So we looked at utilizing Smart Connect to pass data from a web form to GP to pass that information to CRM. We can also update the information back and forth between the two systems. We can even start in Excel and pass that data into GP as well. This is all utilizing Smart Connect, which is accessed outside of GP and outside of CRM. And if we take a quick glance through Smart Connect as the solution that you would use to set up your integrations, you can see that what you would do is essentially define your data source, and you can select bulk data loads, changes only, or real-time events. You can select the data source type based on the data source that you've selected. And listed below would be your destination. So today we are writing to GP to our sales order processing um, group and working with our sales orders node type. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see our drag and drop mapping. So I double clicked there so I can see my source columns on the left and my destination columns on the right. I've dragged and dropped my source to my destination. And on the right hand side, I've also used a few other column types to define um, that destination column. Now you can, again, use calculated fields, global constants, local constants, SQL lookups, translation tables, etc. Now if we move back out of here and take a look at just a couple other things, you can see with Smart Connect, I can add a task on my integration. So if I want to have a task run before my map runs or after it runs, based on it failing or succeeding, I could do a document task as well, and I can do everything from copy files to move files, I can send an email, run a script, run a map, etc. Now I'll say OK here. And the last thing to show you as we wrap up our time together is scheduling. If you want to schedule your integrations to happen, you can do so. And you can schedule them to happen daily, weekly, monthly, every minute of every hour of every day if you want to. Again, this is a difference between Smart Connect and Integration Manager because Smart Connect allows you to schedule those integrations out and it um, allows you to see them, or excuse me, run those integrations without having to have that dedicated resource hit go. Now, if I just jump back into my slides, I wanted to share with you very quickly that if you would like to contact us at E1 Solutions to get a more in-depth demo and discuss your specific integration product, please feel free to do so. You can reach us at sales at e1solutions.com or at the number below. 
Thank you so much for your time today, and we look forward to hearing from you.